Hey guys, how do I help here? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I finally have some news to share with you guys in regards to Apple's next major update, iOS 17. Now, in case you didn't know, iOS 17 Developer Beta 1 will be made available on June 5th. That is when WWDC 2023 kicks off. And if history is any indication, after the keynote, Apple will launch the first beta for all their softwares, right? And that includes iOS 17. Now, we really haven't heard too much in regards to new features features and changes coming to the software, but we finally got some details that I can share with you guys in regards to what to expect with Apple's next major update, iOS 17. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, some of the latest details come from no other than Mark German, one of the most reliable sources in the Apple industry when it comes to leaks and things like hardware and software. He mentions that when Apple started building iOS 17, this was going to be a tune-up update, right? So basically, Apple was going to target any bug fixes, performance improvements, battery reliability. It was sort of like what happened with iOS 12 to iOS 13. Remember that? It was a tune-up software update where we got faster performance performance, bugs were fixed, stability was the number one concern. But now, now that Apple continues to develop iOS 17, according to Mark Gurman, Apple is now adding nice to have features, quote unquote, and then he also says most requested features are coming with iOS 17. So I guess Apple basically changed their mind half the way through and they said, you know what, we can add some features to the software that will be impactful and sort of mean something to users. But what are those some most requested features that users want? Well, let's just go ahead and dive right into this one. Now, I want to start off with the lock screen because with iOS 16, Apple redesigned entirely the way the lock screen works in iOS. And of course, I love what they did here, but there's always a room for improvement. Now, two things that I always hear that users want to see change with the next update is number one, the ability to change the clock position. So change the clock to the right, to the left, maybe a little lower. I hear this a lot. A lot of users want this and maybe add additional fonts and customizations to the clock on the lock screen. I hear this a lot. Now, another top request for the lock screen that I hear is the ability to customize the shortcuts at the bottom of the screen. Now we have the camera shortcut within iOS right now, and we have the flash shortcut for the bottom left here. And most users just want to have the ability to change these shortcuts to things maybe that they would use more than just a flash or maybe the camera. For example, I have this jailbroken iPhone here. I have the flash and also do not disturb, which I can enable directly from the shortcut. And on the right here, I have the camera plus notes, something that I can go ahead and take a quick quick note if I need to do so. So yeah, two major requests that I've heard so far for the lock screen and hopefully Apple will address this with iOS 17. Now shifting my attention over onto the home screen. Now the number one request that I hear in regards to the home screen and widgets is interactive widgets. This has been something that many iOS users have been requesting ever since Apple announced widgets with iOS 14 iOS 15 sort of polished things up, added also live activities to the lock screen, but now it's time. Hopefully this year we get interactive widgets. So basically, an interactive widget would be a widget that you can interact with, obviously, without having to leave your home screen. So this one here, I have a control center platter here where I can enable airplane mode if I wish to do so, or disable airplane mode just like so, directly from the home screen. I also have a music widget here, which I can play here, music from Apple Music, as you can see right there, and I can go forward to track or backwards to track directly from the widget itself without having to jump into the actual music application. I think this is the number one request for widgets in iOS and hopefully with iOS 17, will finally get the interactive widgets on the iPhone. Next, I wanna talk about two key elements within iOS, and that is the control center, and of course, the app switcher. These are two things that you probably use every day, and I've always heard many users wanting a refresh to the control center in iOS. This is a concept here that I put together with a jailbreak tweak, and as you can see right here, this reference a lot of the macOS Big Sur icons and layout for the Mac, so hopefully we'll see somewhat of a change to control center a little bit this year, not that it's necessarily broken, but maybe a slight refresh, adding additional customization options will be nice. And in regards to the app switcher, as you can see right here, I have this app switcher that gives me basically the iPads app switcher 
on the iPhone. Now, it would be nice to have the option on your iPhone to go with the standard app switcher that we have right now within iOS. Of course, it would be nice to see this added to the iPhone alongside the option to have the iPads app switcher on the iPhone as well. I think Apple giving the users options will definitely cover most requested features within iOS. Now, something I always would like to see on the iPhone, I've been wanting to see on the iPhone, is the most recent application folder on the dock. This would be great in my opinion because you can just jump right back into recent application directly from the dock of your iPhone as you can see right there. So three things here, control center redesigned slightly, hopefully more options for the app switcher and the recent application folder for the dock. Let me know what you think about these changes. Okay, so now I wanna jump into what I say would be the biggest impact and change in iOS if Apple was to go through with some of these most requested features. In my opinion, the number one requested feature for the iPhone has been the ability to lock applications using Face ID or Touch ID. As you can see right here, if I tap into settings, I can't go into settings unless I go ahead and show my face-to-face -face ID, just like so, and now I can jump into settings. This adds an extra layer of security to your iPhone. You can lock individual applications using, again, Face ID or Touch ID. In case there's any flaw within the operating system, this could serve as a second layer of protection, and many, many, many users have been wanting this ever since Apple introduced Face ID with the iPhone 10. So I think this definitely covers the most requested features on the iPhone and hopefully, hopefully we see this with iOS 17. Now, last but not least, I want to talk about something that I don't think will ever happen. Well, I don't want to say ever, but it's just going to be hard for Apple to actually do this because they like to keep things look basically the same throughout entire operating systems. And that is theming of the icons on your iPhone. So of course, this one's jailbroken here. I can go into snowboard here and I can change entirely the look of this iPhone by simply going in here and changing the icons just like so. Did you see that? Let me go ahead and show you that again. Now icons have sort of this 3D look to them, sort of Mac OS style icons here. Let me go to remove this theme here and apply a different one so you can kind of see the changes here happening in real time. Just like so, I can change the icons on my iPhone. Maybe a theme store would be something that many users would want. It would help developers and designers alike. I think it opens an entirely new door of possibilities, income for developers and designers alike. I think this is a great idea and hopefully in the future, Apple will add themes or a theme store to the iPhone to customize your icons without having to jump loops as we do now in order to customize the icons with shortcuts and things like that. But let me know what you think about this one. What is your number one request for iOS 17? I would like to hear that in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, guys. So close to iOS 17 beta 1, two months away. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.